All right, this time I'm gonna repurpose Podboat as a download manager for other things besides just, you know, your podcast. Um, because I'll show you what it does by default here. Um, you have your, what's that, news beater or news boat, which is what I'm using here. But in here I have a, uh, what's that, podcast feed. And I'll show you the program here, Podboat. And right now it has nothing, but let's say we uh, queue a couple of these here. Let's say there's a uh, MMA junkie here. And if you want to queue it in here, you do uh, E for in queue. So we hit E and you'll see it says add blah, blah, blah to your queue. So let's do another one. Uh, I don't know. Let's say this is a Joe Rogan one. We do E, right? And uh, to see it, you actually have to quit out this program, load it up again. And there you go. You have your two uh, feeds. And if you want to start downloading them, you can hit either D on the the ones that you want or you can do all of them hitting the B here or whatever hotkey that I have on your um, you know program but anyways we hit B to download both of them and it should start downloading uh, this one is not downloading I'm not sure maybe I already uh, maybe it's dead I don't know sure the other one is not downloading but you can see this uh, Joe Rogan one is downloading here Oh, then the other one start downloading now. Anyways, uh, it will start downloading, and um, you know, once it's done, you can actually play and all that. But this one is only for you know whatever is in your RSS reader. You, you really can't use another outside program to you know send it to here. So that's what I did here. I, I created a function to actually send uh, links to this in a proper format, and it'll actually show up in the queue. So, how do we do that here? Uh, let me show you the function I'm using here so you can understand. Which uh, pod queue, I call this one pod queue, right? But basically, what it does is that it'll uh, take a link and it'll send it, uh, well, it'll like strip out the uh, proper format and everything, and I'll send it to the uh, news boat queue again. Just change this to um, what is that news beater if you're using news beater, whatever it is, or you can save it whatever I want. Anyways, um, that is the function we're going to use, right? And so we're going to go grab some links here. We'll search for some MP3s or something like that. Um, let me see here. we will search for some music. We'll say, uh, let's say Michael Jackson. How about that? Right, there we go. And we should have, let's say number 27 here. And we got a couple of links here. Uh, which one should we download? Rock with you here. So we'll grab this URL. So we can do it the command line way. Uh, pod Q. And we will put that in single quotes just in case. Uh, and there we go. We added one. Let's do another one. How about that? Uh, this Billy Jeans one here. We'll do another one. Right. We add two. And it should show up in our. Uh, what was that our uh, pod beater not pod beater pod boat all right uh, we'll quit out this one we'll leave it there but let's say if I want to run um what was a pod boat and now we have the two ones that we just added this Michael Jackson one here right and if I want to download I just hit uh, was that B to download all of them and it should download it now if you want to play them uh, you can hit P to play Right, and this one will open with your default uh, GUI player, I believe. I mean, you can change it around, but uh, it's using XDG Open to, you know, um, get whatever extension it is, and it will use the proper program. But let's say, for example, I hit uh, P, and it should play it with uh, VLC here. There you go. Right. Uh, well, those ones are like, you know, music, but what if I download some other stuff they say here? Let's download, uh, let's download some movies or something, some videos, right? We do uh, Dragon Ball Super. I think I saw one here last time. And there we go. Here we have some links here. Let's do another one. Let's say this one here. All right. Uh, we'll grab the URL and we will do pod Q again. All right. There we go. And now if I load up this program, restart it here, we'll download it. All right. And it'll start downloading. Um, now you can do this with, you know, uh, the command line way, like I show you this way. 
or if you have a script uh, within here let's say for example uh, you know with uh, w3m you're gonna run like external scripts so I can see here this one is external browser 6 here and it's, this one is from um, the pod queue script that I have so for example let's say we do uh, something really small like images we'll do images and we'll do like Naruto stuff and we have something here okay we'll jump to uh, uh, here so we got a couple of images here and I'll load it up um, you know into the pod queue here real quick he what is this one so we did like one two already and what is this one here is it funeral okay let's see here all right so I got a couple of them here hopefully it's not porn but we'll see uh, uh, that one's there and if I restart this here it should load up like all the ones that's in queue here all right the ones that's in queue is not downloaded let's say I download all of them and there you go it's all ready so whenever it says ready that means it's finished and if I hit just P on them it should open with the you know uh, whatever XDG uh, detects and this one is a uh, GUI here right so there you go you can do this with that and if it's a video where's that um, Dragon Ball video there you go that one it should open it with uh, you know whatever player I set it to so this one's the Dragon Ball Super that we downloaded and look at that so there we go that's how you would use this uh, to download other stuff besides whatever uh, it was intended to it was just intended to download just podcasts only I, I don't understand that I mean you have a good program here you can actually uh, use it for other purposes and it never got anywhere and the only thing I don't like about this program I'll say is that you cannot refresh the list uh, of the queue while the program is running because it is not a you know a daemon something that runs in the background and it's really annoying um, I tried some other programs you know like uh, uh, you know other uh, text user interface download manager and they're really all the same it's you can't not run um, well you cannot like uh, add links while the program is running which is annoying so I really wish there was like a, a daemon and a uh, you know a front end to it like a you know a uh, end curse front end something like transmission daemon where you have a daemon in the back end and then an end curse or any other you know um, front end for it and uh, you can actually download some stuff but we do not have that and this one is like the closest thing I can get to a end curse download manager all right anywho that's how we repurpose it uh, other stuff you want to do um, show you the configurations here news boat in news boat you can actually have you know options for your pod beater or pod boat whatever you're using so right now I set mine to max download at two in parallel you can do that as far as the player you can change it to either your own custom script if you want uh, or like uh, you know XDG open uh, I do have my own custom script that I have to do some stuff. I'll talk about it another time, but uh, for most people, you want to use like XDG Open or something like that. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it for using this, you know, in um, to load up like other links besides just what it does by default. Anywho, if you need a text user interface download manager, this is probably like the goodest one you can get, unfortunately. Uh, but if you're good at like programmer or something and you want to do whatever I just said in the beginning where you have like a daemon or something like that that'd be great that's what I'm looking for as far as a program that I'm missing that'd be for this one though